Good evening all and welcome to the next edition of the Leicester City Football Club Legends Quiz. I'll be a host for tonight's quiz and will shortly be hearing from 10 icons of the club. All of them will have one question for you, the Blue Army. All you'll need is a pen, a piece of paper to take part and once we've heard all the questions, I'll go back to the legends for the answers. Don't forget, make sure to leave a comment below so we know how you get on. Without any further ado, let's get cracking. The first question comes from the old mucker, Matty Elliott. I was cup tied in the 1997 League Cup final due to playing in the earlier rounds for Oxford United. But against which team did I score a goal for Oxford in that competition? Was it A, Norwich City, B, Ipswich Town, C, Huddersfield Town, or D, West Bromwich Albion? Thanks, Matty. Great stuff. Next up, we have Mr. TC, Tony Cotty himself, with over 300 career goals. What a player TC was for us. I played for Leicester in four different competitions, but in which competition did I score my first goal? Was it the FA Cup, the League Cup, the Premier League, or the UEFA Cup? Let's get the next question from Jordan Stewart. He was a little baby when I was playing, but what a great player he was. Um, he sent his clip all the way from the United States of America. How you doing guys? Jordan Stewart here. I scored a header on the day the club won promotion back to the Premier League. With a victory over Brighton in 2003. But who finished above us in the first division? Was it A? Sheffield United, B, Derby County, C, Portsmouth, or D, Ipswich Town. Perfect. Thank you, Jordan. Another former defensive colleague of mine, the Cinco kid, Frankie Sinclair. I made my Leicester City debut in a 2-2 away draw against which club? Was it A, Arsenal, B, Chelsea, C, Liverpool or D, Man United? Cheers, Frankie boy. Let's go straight over to Matt Piper for the next one. I made my Foxes debut in October 2001. But who was the manager that night? Was it A, Mickey Adams? Was it B, Peter Taylor? Was it C, Dave Bassett? Or was it D, Gary Parker? Brilliant, Matt. Thanks, mate, for that one. And next up is the Welshman. Without his Welshman's hat on and his teeth in, Ewan, the legend, Roberts. Take it away. In 1996, after three years with the Foxes, I left to join which club? Was it A, Derby? Was it B, Gillingham? Was it C, Norwich City? Or was it D, Wolverhampton Wanderers?
Great stuff, Ewan. Now it's time to hear from the icon, that is Peter Shilton. The floor is yours, Peter. In 1967, I scored with a long kick upfield against Southampton. But who was in goal for the Saints that day? Was it A, Jerry Gurr, B, Eric Martin, C, Campbell Forsyth, or D, Peter Wells? Excellent question, Shilts. Love it, mate. Right, moving on to the next person. He, this guy had a brilliant left foot. Not quite as good as Walsh's, but obviously it's, he's a left-sided player and it is the legend himself, Steve Guppy. Over two spells at Leicester City, how many appearances did I make in total? Was it A, 169, B, 179, C, 189 or D, 199. Right, we're almost there. Next up, it's Emil Heskey. How many other professional clubs did I play for when I left Leicester? Is it A, 4, B, 5, C, 6, or D, 7? Wonderful, Emil. Thanks very much, mate. What a player he was. And last but no means least, it's time for the final question from my old mucker, Ali Mocklin. 1986 when I signed for Leicester. He signed in 85. Great pal of mine. Take it away, Ali. Question for you tonight is as follows. During the 1990-91 season, which Leicester City manager left the club, providing me with the opportunity to have a short spell as player coach at Fulham Street. Was it A. Brian Little, B. Gordon Millen, C. David Pleat, or D. Brian Hamilton? And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. How do you think you got on? Let's go back to the legends now to hear their answers. And don't forget to leave a comment with your score. The answer is A, Norwich City. I don't remember it that vividly. What I do remember is there being an almighty fracker on the pitch when there were two or three sendings off, and particularly after the game down the tunnel where a certain Paddy Akinbae flexed his muscles and put the fracas to rest, fair to say. <laughs> Quite an intimidating sight it was. Obviously, Lake joined up with him as a player, teammate at Leicester City. But um, it was more memorable, yeah, for the uh, for the wrong reason, that game, despite me scoring a goal. And the correct answer is the FA Cup. And the answer is C, Portsmouth. Great day. Um, obviously, my only competitive header, scoring a goal. A great cross from Mozzie from the corner, and um, I remember Paul Dicker for let me celebrate, so I'll still give him a stick today about it. <laughs> and the answer is D, Man United. It was D, Larry Parker. Uh, thank you, Parks, for giving me my debut. He was my reserve team manager at the time. Peter Taylor got sacked, Larry Parker got the job for one game. He signed to give me my debut. What a legend. And the answer is D, Wolves. The correct answer is Campbell Forsyth, a Scottish goalkeeper. 
Pat Jennings scored against Alex Stepney a few months before in the Charity Shield. Everybody seems to remember that goal, but not mine. Over two spells with Leicester City, how many appearances did I make in total? That was C, 189. The answer is C, 6. And the answer is C, David Pleat. I worked alongside Gordon Lee and Bobby Roberts. Went to the final game of the season, won the last game of the season with Tony James winner against Oxford, which kept us in the league. And then we went to Portugal to celebrate. Some difficult ones there tonight. But there you have it, another Leicester City Football Club Legends Quiz done and dusted until the next time. Stay safe and come on Leicester this Saturday. Let's do it.